so in this session today we shall study bowel nozodes these bowel nozodes are agents which have come to our materia medica in a different way and that we have to understand before we go into the details of each of them so for that purpose we shall see the introduction into these five aspects history new cases in old patients it ben in benefit it gets in all cases or it gives in all cases and general instructions this is written in the booklet of bowel nozodes which those of you who have used it must have read it let us see again in history first of all we must know that these remedies have not been proved on healthy human beings secondly only clinical trials have been conducted then there are many more non proved remedies and the list is endless we find that there are n number of medicines which a prover or sort of introducer uh, makes and you get the uh, materia medica lengthened so the list is endless we don't trust normally the agents merely on the basis of clinical trials because proving on healthy human beings is the basis of clinical basis of homeopathic materia medica however these agents are like exceptions which rather than disproving prove the law because we have studied uh, that there are exceptions to every law so like that this is exception that does not mean that any and every remedy we shall allow under this history is that dr edward bash uh, worked on human intestinal flora non lactose fermenting gram negative typhoid group of bacteria on that he worked and dr john peterson and his wife elizabeth they continued the work after him which continued uh say in middle of 20th century that is 1954 till he died and after that for few more years elizabeth continued the work over 10 years these scientists worked on 500 cases with 95% rate of improvement so their statistics and has been presented in british journals examine over 20000 stool specimens and conducted research for over 20 years so that means that the extensive work that has been done behind that bash left the work in 28 to develop bash flower remedies then bash patterson didn't see bacterium as cause of pathology what they saw they saw it as concomitant of pathology that is along with pathology bacteria occur or reflection of it dr s p de who is no more in his practice <coughs> used the bowel nozodes extensively and he described good results so these are the factors which we undertake in history then in new cases that is how to use bowel nozodes in new cases where the patient has not received any homeopathic treatment and comes to you for the first time here if no clear cut picture of a particular remedy is available from the totality of symptoms you may select a bowel nozode straight away in the first prescription itself for example a patient represents a mixed symptomatology of sulfur calcarea card graphitis you find symptoms of these three drugs then give morgan bash or morgan pure peterson in the first prescription so this is the example of giving the new cases then in old patients the patient is undergoing homeopathic treatment but he is not responding satisfactorily the result is not there you do not get satisfactory result and apparently well selected remedies have been given so here bowel nozode which corresponds to the group of remedies given may be prescribed in the second prescription then for example sulfur calcarea and or graphitis have been given they have failed to produce desired result in spite of being well indicated then the corresponding bowel nozode which here is morgan can be administered in second prescription after the bowel nozode if improvement reaches a standstill that is it no more goes further then previously indicated remedy which did not act earlier sulfur calcarea or graphitis may be given 
with remarkable benefit or a complete cure of the patient. That means these act like a block removing medicine, like antisoric medicines do in soric cases. Then the benefit you get in all cases, in a new case as well as old case, what happens that bowel, it's, uh, the bowel nozode itself may not possibly cure the patient. But it paves the way, clears the way of cure by removing the obstacle or the block. Then if a bowel nozode does not produce desired result or causes undesired homeopathic aggravation, then in that case any of the indicated remedies in the corresponding group list because after every bowel nozode a list of remedies is given. So from among that it should be administered in second prescription and with very good results. Then general instructions are that potency selection. In patients with outstanding prominent mental symptoms and no gross organic pathology, a single dose of high potency 1M may be given with good results. Then, but in cases with gross organic pathology, where there is advanced tissue changes, sixth potency, that is low potency, may be given one dose daily for a few days and then wait for reaction. Few days, maybe two, three days. Then, in acute manifestation of chronic diseases, 30th potency may be given with benefit, for example, acute attacks of rheumatoid arthritis, bronchial asthma, etc. Then, 30th potency. In functional diseases with no prominent mental symptoms, a single dose of 200 potency may be prescribed. Then, repetition. In so far as repetition is concerned, one should not repeat a bowel nozode within 3 months. The rule of thumb, that up to 3 months, wait. Because the action of the medicine or the block removing activity may continue for this period. Instead, one may give a group of remedies belonging to list of that very bowel nozode. So we have to keep ready the list which goes with each bowel nozode. Now, patients who have received potentized homeopathic medicine within a month. Suppose last month you have given some potentized homeopathic medicine, calcarea, sulfur, natron, lyco, etc. And the names of the medicines are not known, but it goes to another physician. Another physician does not know what remedy has been given. So the patient has come from another homeopathic doctor. Then he should not be given a bowel nozole because there could be some deep acting antisoric medicine being given. If given, a severe vital depression may follow. That is, there may be severe aggravation. And Dr. S.P. Day has even said that to the extent that it may even endanger the life of the patient. If it is some advanced condition, then it may be threatening. It may be threatening to the life of the patient. So that means it's a warning, it's a caution that when a patient comes to you where some medicines have been given but you do not know what medicines in them, do not begin with bowel nozzle. That's not a very difficult instruction to follow. Now with this we go to the remedies. The remedies are first of all Morgan group we may say. In Morgan group there are three remedies Morgan Bash, Morgan Pure Patterson and Morgan Gaitner which is again Patterson because Bash had started the work he left it then Patterson joined so remedies in bracket Bash means introduced by Bash and Patterson and uh, Patterson name written means afterwards developed and made by Patterson so then this parenthesis that is bracket is essential for Morgan whereas here even if you don't write the bracket it does not make any difference because there are only one Proteus is Proteus then Gertner, Dysentery Co and Psychotic Co there are few more but I have selected the prominent ones in this short time now let us go to Morgan Bash now this Morgan Bash <coughs> is the first <coughs> basic remedy. Dr. Patterson mentions congestion as the keynote symptom of Morgan. First and foremost important thing is congestion. <coughs> From our clinical experience, Dr. S. B. D. says, we also feel chronic recurrent or persistent inflammatory condition may be considered as guiding symptom. So there is a pathological prescription you can understand. For example, congestive premenstrual or postmenstrual headache with flushings, 
chronic cholecystitis, gallstones, chronic dermatitis, etc. Then headache with hot flushing, like lecases, worse heat, traveling in bus or train, better by cold applications is another indication and vertigo with blood pressure, hypertension, mental depression with suicidal tendency, easy irritability, acidity and heartburn, bitter taste, bilious headache, dirty tongue, constipation, so gastric disturbance, then history of bronchopneumonia and lower pneumonia in children, tendency to form piles, varicose veins with blueness of lower extremities. Then chill blains of feet and toes, then especially in females who are working in water. Then arthritis especially of interphalangeal joints and knee joints. So then this both are included that is PIP proximal interphalangeal uh, joints and then uh, distal interphalangeal joints. Pruritus ni with or without piles. All sorts of skin diseases. Remember all sorts of skin diseases, broad spectrum, itching eruptions which are aggravated by heat. Then we conclude that there is a combination of symptoms of sulphur, graphitis, petroleum and suranum. See when on paper you are differentiating the remedies, it is very easy to see boric and to see any medicine at the Metra Medica and say this is the difference, this is the difference, this is the difference. But when practically a patient comes to you who does not have all the symptoms which are written in the Metra Medica. So from among those differentiation may not always be possible between the drugs because uh, for that purpose you say that there is a combination of symptoms of sulphur, graphitis, petroleum and sorinum despite that is in spite of proper case taking. This should remind us of Morgan as a possible remedy for first or second prescription. <laughs> then after this we go to Morgan Pure Patterson. Here, dark complexion, then VP depressed, irritable and tense patients. Here important features are again skin disease, disturbances of liver, bilious headache, gallstone and jaundice, common features with the earlier Morgan, constipation, pruritus and eye, migraine, alopecia, nasal, post nasal and respiratory catarrh, <coughs> then ulceration in mouth or mucocutaneous junction are some of the clinical conditions that we may frequently need Morgan Pure. Then after this what we find is hairy face and abnormal growth of hair, granular eyelids and tarsal cysts, then cataral deafness, otoria and Meniere's disease that is tinnitus, deafness and vertigo. Then raw <coughs> red dry tongue with burning may be ulcerated tongue, lips are red like sulphur, thyroid is enlarged, goiter, craving for sweets, fat, egg and butter, intolerance to egg and fat. Now you see there is craving but there is intolerance, there is aggravation. So this like argentum nitricum, like sweets and is aggravated from sweets, acidity, heartburn and peptic ulcer. Then pain and tenderness in liver and gallbladder region, pruritus, vulva and vagina, menorrhagia and metrorrhagia, polyp and fibroid in uterus, leucorrhea and bartholinitis. Then cystitis, inflammation of the bladder. Then fibrositis of chest wall, chest in with lumbago. Then were varicose veins and phlebitis, varicose eczema and ulcers, skin problems associated with varicosities. Then rheumatoid arthritis with, with osteoarthritis, flat warts, all sorts of itching eruptions, itching worse from heat. It's a common feature of Morgan's. Insomnia, vertigo and hypertension bronchitis, bronchial asthma worse in winter. So first of all you have to decide whether it is a Morgan. Then after deciding whether it is a Morgan then you can differentiate which Morgan. So because there are common features of each of Morgans. Now in the first Morgan bash the related remedies has not been mentioned. Whereas here the related remedies have been mentioned. 
Now all these carbs, you can see all these carbs, from among them calcarea carb is more prominent, then calcarea sulf, carbo -wedge, carbon sulf and among the others sulfur, graphitis and petroleum are related remedies, more prominently connected with it. These nozodes have been enlisted here in which tuberculum is prominent. So this list is available with you and from this list you are required to uh, see the symptoms of which remedy are cropping up and in case needed can be prescribed. Then next, uh, the last member of the Morgan is Morgan Gettner Peterson. Here Gettner word has been <coughs> added. Cholecystitis, there is a special emphasis on gallbladder. Renal stone, that is also the stone, tendency to stones, be it gallbladder, be it kidney or bladder for that matter with 4 to 8 pm aggravation of lycopodium and uh, colchicum and there are other remedies <coughs> where this aggravation is there. So that here you find they are the characteristic. Irritable tense bites nails, nail biting is a sign of nervousness, fear of crowds, claustrophobia, then bitter or bad taste in mouth, a complaint of liver manifestation of liver complaint. Then fond of salt and sweets. These are both sweet as well as salt. Then alopecia, areata, mastoiditis and ringing in ears, chronic tonsillitis, flatulent dyspepsia with eructations plus plus, pain in ileocecal region, constipation, recurrent attacks of renal colic goes with the symptom of a stone. Then aneurysis, pleurodynia, bronchial asthma, rheumatism and rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis and insomnia, shouts in sleep. Fortunately, this list of the symptoms has been given to me personally by Dr. SPD and I have just reproduced this list here, which he had very meticulously made on a piece of paper, that simple ways to remember these remedies. Then related remedies here are lycopodium and chelidonium. Chinopodium, Heliborus, and here important one is Lachesis. These three are more prominent ones along with the other remedies. Now, Merck, Sulf, etc., we seldom use, and these are derivative uh, uh, medicines like uh, add a picture of mercury and sulfur, that is a different matter. But then, this is the list which has been given to us by Peterson. Then, after Morgans, we go to Proteus. And Proteus, Proteus remedy, whether you write bash or not does not matter because it is only one Proteus. Proteus is a storm, prolonged nervous tension followed by sudden and violent manifestation. A person is there who undergoes tension, tension, tension for months together, weeks together, months together, years together, tolerates, but suddenly there is a flare-up of psychosis, there is a flare-up of his mood and, and uh, there is a flare-up of affective disorder, anything for that matter. For example, here there could also be epileptic fits, physical complaints also. There could be sudden hematemesis, blood vomiting or even melina or perforation of a silent duodenal ulcer because of that. So it could be organic complaints, physical complaints, it could be mental complaints. like. Uh, Outstanding symptoms relating to central or peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system could be involvement of brain for that matter, sudden outbursts of violent temper, that is psychiatric complaint, brain storm in children. In children what happens, suddenly they get attacks and they, they lose their temper, they start beating things, beating themselves, that is called brain storm. In adults, to such an extent that the person may try to commit suicide. Then meningism and all sorts of convulsions including history of febrile convulsions. They appear suddenly. Then Ranard's disease or Berger's disease that is because of tobacco, Meniere's disease, then dead fingers and intermittent claudication of lower limbs. Intermittent claudication means the pains intermittently which they appear in the lower limbs, sudden pains, they come, they go, so that is because condition, you can read this intermittent claudic claudication, 
uh, picture of this. Then angioneurotic edema, where there is puffiness of the face and it is also a severe condition. Then anginal attacks or coronary attacks in the described conditions. Hunger pain not relieved by them. Then intolerance to egg, dilatation of stomach with or without pyloric stenosis. The person can keep on eating long, then after eating long the, the, there is a pyloric stenosis, the pyloric end gets stenosed and then there is vomiting afterwards, typical vomitings of pyloric stenosis along with the pain. Then constipation rather than looseness of bowels. That is a tendency to constipation, not like nitric acid which has got a tendency to looseness of bowels. Then prolapse of intervertebral disc, very common condition PID today, that is disc prolapse with severe shooting pains along with force of nerves. So this with the background of mental picture, in patient of PID disc prolapse, with this background of mental tension and uh, all this, you can prescribe Proteus and if the indicated remedies are not acting or the picture is combined. So that common applies to all. Now here the remedies which are associated is a all list of mures has been added. All chlorides like Natramur, Acid Mure, Kali Mure and Mag Mure. Then <coughs> Epismel, Borax, Cupramet. Cupramet has got those spasmodic pains, intermittent claudication which is found in uh, cramps in the calves. Now Metra Medical will not say intermittent claudication. What material medical will say? It will say cramps in the calves. Now it is for you to interrelate it. If you say sir what is the meaning, why should we call intermittent claudication? Why not cramps in calves? And I will say why not both? Call them both because you are living in the current uh, medical arena and you are to use our basic thing. So that is what we were discussing yesterday also. Then Ignatia and CKL core, you can find the commonness of the picture and accordingly you have to link the remedy Proteus. Mm -hmm. Then after this we go to the third agent that is Gettner. Now Gettner is also a, an agent which you can never forget. Here malnutrition is the keynote symptoms and this symptom because of it, it should be thought in chronic colitis, celiac disease, ulcerative colitis, thyrotoxicosis, tuberculosis, cancer, diabetes mellitus, tibis mesentrica and so on. Whenever there is loss of weight in a patient, then you should try to think of this medicine. I have prescribed for a colleague of mine this Gettner when she had a problem of ulcerative colitis and because of that she was losing weight and after indicated remedies also the result was not that good so when this Gettner was prescribed the entire picture changed so there are many instances like this you find in such conditions malnutrition here the condition is because of malnutrition because of the disease one cannot eat well or even if one eats one cannot digest it. So after malnutrition overactive brain but undernourished body. This happens in children. There are children who are overactive but the body is undernourished they hardly care to eat. So in them also you have to think. Then what is the basic picture? Phosphorus, Silesia and Mercurius. Now you know Mercurius and Silesia are, we have been taught that they are antidote to each other. You should not prescribe Silesia after Mercurius and Mercurius after Silesia. You can interpose heap herself in between them. But here we have a common picture of Mercurius also because all ulcerative colitis etc. features will go to Mercurius, Silesia and Phosphorus in a patient. So this makes you think of Gettner. Then deep fissures on the tongue is another characteristic which is a feature in Mercury also. Vomiting aggravates after sweets. So then somnambulism that is walking in the sleep, threadworms and ketoacidosis. Ketoacidosis is a feature found in diabetes. 
So uh, when a patient is not keeping his diabetes in control, there is ketosis, ketoacidosis, and that is why in patients of diabetes, when a patient comes to a homeopath in a condition of diabetes which has not been well managed, so Dr. S. P. Day used to think of Gettner as first remedy in such cases. So that is when he would make sure that the patient did not receive any homeopathic treatment earlier. So that is Gettner. Related medicines are the Phosphorus, Calcarea, Merxol and Silesia have been talked. Then we add Califos to it. Then Natrumphos and Zincphos, so all Phosphoruses. Then here Cephalinum is degenerative remedy. So that is also added to this picture. Now after this we go to the next one and that is dysentery coke. Now this dysentery coke is a remedy which many of you may have used. Prolonged nervous tension <coughs> sorry, associated with gradually developing manifestations not sudden ones like you find in Proteus. Gradually developing manifestations relating to GI tract or nervous system to begin with. Afterwards, it spreads to other organs. Here, prolonged stress in the form of anticipatory anxiety. What will happen? What will happen? What will happen? Lack of confidence, full of fears, unable to cope with the situation. We are using the word claustrophobia for the second time, but the root is that claustrum means a shut place. So fear of shut places, fear of places wherein there is a tendency to be afraid, how will I escape from here if something happens? Shy and uneasy in presence of others like Netramir, very sensitive to criticism, cannot tolerate criticism. Then desires fat, then sweets, salt and milk, then bind, blinding headache. Blinding headache is like Kali Bichromicum. Kali Bichromicum, the headache is the more the headache increases, the side returns. That symptom is very less found. But then that is a characteristic symptom of Kali Bichromicum. But with, morgan, with uh, uh, migraines, normally what happens that there is blinding. That means vision is blurred. If the vision is blurred, we call it blinding for that matter. Then Pylorospasm and even pyloric stenosis associated with ulcers, duodenal ulcers, has a special affinity to affect pylorus because pylorus is the area which is related to peptic ulcers. Occasionally found useful in congenital, congenital pyloric stenosis, also duodenal ulcer with evidence of nervous tension. <coughs> Indigestion for years with looseness of bowels. Earlier remedy we found constipation. Here there is looseness of bowels, then constipation and mucus colitis. Chronic obstinate urticaria, rectal prolapse which is chronic. Then arthritis, spondylitis and osteoporosis. Then psoriasis also, intractable insomnia with history of anticipatory mental tension. What will happen, what will happen, what will happen and person is not able to sleep. Functional heart diseases with anxiety, neurosis, all checkup has been done, ECG has been done, every test echo has been done, no disease has been detected. It is also described as cardiac neurosis for that matter. A combination of symptoms of ARS, Argentum nitricum, anacardium and calmia should remind us about so uh, that is about dysentery co now it's the related remedies arsenic argentum nitricum anacardium then cadmium met veratrum album and veratrum viril these remedies which are written in white that is the more important ones and as you can understand that the picture matches with the picture of dysentery coat. Now the last remedy we go is psychotic coke. Now psychotic coke here picture is quite simple because there is pale anemic puffy appearance with a greasy skin and prematurely grey hair 
excessive hair on face and upper lips you will find symptoms of thuja and medor in the hair as the name psychotic is there nervous tense cross irritable restless bites nails very much sensitive to cold especially wet cold looseness of bowels is characteristic rarely then forms stools so there are constipated the bowel nozodes and uh, diarrhea bowel nozodes polyps warts and new growths anywhere loss of sense of smell deafness and otorrhea chronic sick headache aggravates at the time of menstruation fond of butter fat sweet milk and salt here you see aversion and intolerance to egg fat and onion so fat you find common now here butter fat and here also fat and eggs for that matter now if you see this type of common things you will say sir how it is the patient is having aggravation also and patient is better also so that is populations groups of patients in which this will be there and that will be there then splinter like pain in rectum albuminuria with nephrotic syndrome all sorts of menstrual remedy uh, menstrual irregularities ovarian cysts tuberculosis of ovary sterility cell pingitis and pelvic cellulitis then pleurodynia bronchitis bronchial asthma rheumatism and arthritis pain tenderness both iliac fossae irritability of mucus and synovial membranes cataral discharge from any outlet for that matter vesicular and varicellar that is chicken pox like eruptions headache from sinusitis tubercular meningitis related remedies are basically restox then antim tart calcarea met <coughs> uh seldom used i have never used calcarea met for that matter basilinum thuja acid nitric and natrum sulf all these three are antipsychotic typical remedies which have been understood commonly by us so that completes the picture of bowel nozodes for that matter and uh, and here if there are any questions you can ask them sir ye power mein 